there are great biographies of Niels Bohr, and we also had a conversation with Dr. Steven Weinberg about his experience at the Bohr Institute, and he remembered that Niels Bohr was a great mumbler, that he was fluent in five or six languages, but he could be unintelligible in all of them. So, the, he was also, from uh, the beginning of, of his studies, a very philosophical kind of person, in, uh, interested and passionate about the larger dimensions of all of his scientific activity. And for that reason, uh, probably was able to form relationships all over the world and was able to mentor generations of, of great scientists. And so that uh, the story refers to him as the Pope, and that, that he's a kind of father, to conf father confessor to young scientists. So that, that dimension has been particularly interesting to explore. You know, I haven't really revisited many characters in in my time as an actor. The, the one that springs to mind is uh, is another Don Toner production, The Best Little Whorehouse in Texas. And so I was able to play Sheriff Ed Earl Don twice. But to play somebody like Niels Bohr a second time, I have found during this preparation process that to play Copenhagen really grips me in a, in a different way this time than, than the previous production. And that, that 16 years of, of life experience really has made this experience, uh, this rehearsal process and, and the preparation so much richer. So let's see if I can think of a specific example. I guess in the final scenes of the play where Niels Bohr describes escaping from Denmark in 1943 from the Nazi oppression. And the, the depth of feeling that he has in that experience and also the depth of gratitude that he has for Werner Heisenberg has been so much different, so much deeper.